Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for tuning in for another five-minute tech tip. This is Dave Casuto from SF Tech Training. And continuing on our series about logical statements and functions, uh, we're going to be um, showing you how to work with the count if. All right, so ifs are basically saying, hey, if this thing exists, then yield something. That's our basic if. In this case, we're going to say, hey, if a criteria exists, then please count that. This is excellent, excellent for large bits of data that you want to keep a running tally on the number of things that exist for that. So it could be people within a certain company, people who have purchased certain product. You just want to keep a running tally on that. So in this case, I want to know how many people are going to be in each region. And this might vary all throughout your time, and it might be dynamic data. So I just want to be able to know right now how many people from the east region exist. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to very simply start this off with an equal sign. And I'm going to say count if. All right, I'm going to hit the tab key. That closes it out, capitalize it. And very simply, Excel gives me a little cheat sheet and says, okay, well, what's the range of data I should look in for this? And I know it's very simply just right here. Great, I got that. And you'll notice how it pops up with the word region. I'm actually using something called the named range, which when I'm finished with this, I will show you what that, how that actually came about. But I've actually named that. That's something that's really valuable to help you kind of label your data. So I could have easily typed out regions. The next time I do this, when I do for Wes, I'm gonna show you how we can do this and how we can apply the named range. So I'm going to hit comma. And what is my criteria? Very simply, east. So put it in quotes, close it out, and it tells me I have four east. Okay, so let me just make this a little bit wider. I'm going to say this is going to be east, this is going to be west, this is going to be north, and this is going to be south. And right align these. Great. So the next time I do this, I'm, I'm going to use the name range so you can see this in application. So count if my range is simply REG. Oh, look at that. Pops right up because this is a named range. Again, I'm going to show you in a little bit how I created this. I'm just going to double click on that and notice how it highlights everything there. Fantastic. And just like I did for east, put that in quotes, west, and I have three wests. So now let's just watch this in action. I'm going to change this from east to west. And now notice how these switch up. Amazing. So this keeps a running tally on all of these. Okay. Really fantastic. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do that one more time so we can watch me count if. And again, you'll see here counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. REG. And then I'm going to hit tab this time on my keyboard and very simply I'm going to type out north. And this is not case sensitive, which is kind of nice. There's four and then I'll finish this off. Count F. You see how fast and easy it is to create these things once you kind of get into the swing and get your flow going. All right. Didn't even close out the parentheses and it took it in. So let me quickly just talk to you about the named range. So if you click over here in the upper left and you click on the drop down where it says name box, you'll notice that it says region right here. That was created by me. Sales current is another one right here. Here is sales prior. That is another one right here. It's very simply simple to do that. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make this into a name range. Highlight it and then I just come over to here. I'm just going to say ink underscore DEC underscore sales and now that is a named range just like the rest of these you can see that there and i'm going to do a whole lesson on these but i want you to know at least that under formulas that this is where you actually keep track of all of your named ranges as well okay and they can be used in any kind of formula whether it's just a basic summing v lookup what i just did with count if etc okay so stay tuned for more logical functions um, i'll be doing some if and average if um, in the next lessons. All right. Thanks and stay tuned and feel free to subscribe and check me out on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, find me on uh, LinkedIn 
and also uh, go to our website, sftechtraining.com.